Superman and Wonder Woman are floating over Washington DC and it's nothing but ashes now. Captain Adam's explosion destroyed everything. Superman thinks to himself, Metropolis! And they fly there instantly. Everything is destroyed and the only thing that remains is half of the Daily Planet. Thanks to Green Lantern. Millions and millions of people dead in an instant. He puts his hand on the barrier, touching his wife. But at that moment, Lex Luthor shouts, Superman! And Superman hovers above him with red eyes. Luthor! By Ralph, you so much ass. Hey, bro, chill, chill, truce. I'm not here to fight you, Superman. I'm not here to add to. And he gets down on his knees. Hey, Look yo. what happened to our city. Over the next few days, we see that the heroes took down the internet, with the Flash taking down every server at super speed. We then see Wonder Woman in space destroying every satellite, taking out everything so the only way the virus could spread is through people. Wonder Woman then goes to Themyscira to convince her mother to open up Themyscira to survivors. They don't like that idea at first, but they end up accepting it. So Wonder Woman, Superman, and Mera use their powers to push up the sea floor. So now there's a whole lot more land for people to stay on. We then get to see what Gotham is looking like now. The city looking like a jungle now. And we find out this is the work of Poison Ivy. The virus can't get past her green wall. So Damien as Batman, Dinah, and Ollie pull up to their front door. Let me do the talking when we're inside. Are you sure? about that Damien you're not exactly a people's person Ivy's not exactly people but there's a noise in the back <laughs> an infected killer croc jumps at Damien so they instantly hit him with batarangs and arrows but he also gets impaled through the chest with a vine and vines wrap around the rest of them huh Dinah cut us free don't what bro don't harm the plants and we see poison Ivy and Harley Quinn bust out the vines good call bat boy hey look at that we killed killer croc how awesome is the death wall I mean I wouldn't use the word awesome why are you here as a robin dressed as a tiny batman batman is gone what i'm sorry and he tells ivy that they're looking for sanctuary for survivors and it turns out harley's been having that same conversation with ivy poison ivy's like <sighs> There will be rules. Yes! We then learn that Cyborg and Lex were able to engineer closed communication in the Fortress of Solitude, making it the new information hub for heroes. What we did was impressive, Victor. How the hell have we never worked together? Because you kept trying to kill me and my friends? Sure, but in my defense, that was before I realized you could be useful. Green Arrow pulls up like, what y'all working on? Plans. For what? For arcs. The arcs will fit 7 million people. Superman hops in the convo. We're not leaving. Superman, I'm the most intelligent man on the planet. And he looks at Cyborg. Wait, Batman is dead, right? Yes. Right. Then I am the most intelligent person on the planet. And I'm telling you the world is over. It's inevitable. If you want the human race to survive, we're going to have to leave Earth. We're not going to abandon this planet. We're going to fight for it. Son, Clark, if it's the only way. Ma, it can't be. Losing two homeworlds in one lifetime. Lex, how careless. He talking that hot shit and Lois don't like it. Boom! So she hits bro with a clean right hook. Fuck you, Luther. Open your mouth against my husband again and I will smash it closed. You understand? Bro's just leaking. We need your mind, but we sure as hell don't need you for anything else. Mm. John and Damien are just staring at her. Um, violence is never the answer, John. I mean, it looked like a pretty good answer just then. Over the next few weeks, we see survivals in Jungle Gotham and Themyscira, and they also get to building the arcs. Also, the heroes took time to mourn the people they lost. We then see the heroes chilling in the Fortress of Solitude, but then the heroes start hearing a loud buzzing noise. Everybody starts covering their ears. Ah! The buzz turns into a loud scream. Out of nowhere, Lex gets split in half. The Flash like, what is that? I can't see anything. We then see infected Mark Martian the Manhunter and he slashes the Flash in the back. Martian Manhunter, Barry! Everybody starts attacking him. We then see Firestorm charge up with flames all over him. Move! And he hits Martian Manhunter with a huge fire attack. <coughs> Burning Martian Manhunter to a crisp. Barry, where'd he go? He's running. I'll get him. No, you can't get infected, Wally. I'll go. Do you honestly think you can catch him? No. We see the Flash now infected running at super speed. And bro is touching everybody he can. In space, we see Superman looking down on Earth. Cyborg, the Flash is dead? He is. Promise me. I promise. So Superman locks in and starts picking up speed. How are you going to catch him? I don't have to catch up to him. I can come from the other side. I can meet him head on and Superman flies right through the Flash's body, ripping him to pieces. Barry, I'm so sorry, I'm... But then he looks down and sees two fingers in his gut. Superman is now infected. He flies back to the Fortress of Solitude at light speed. He's moving so fast that time slowed down so he can talk to Kid Flash. Wally. Superman? Barry's gone. I'm sorry. And so am I. Oh no! I need you to connect Ma, John, and Lois to the Speed Force. Can you do that for me? I can. So he goes up to talk to his family. Ma, 
Thank you for finding me, for raising me, for teaching me. Thank you for giving me your name and your values and your empathy. My world ended and you and Pa gave me another one. Lois, I have absolutely no regrets. I honestly don't know how I got so lucky. I crossed an ocean of stars and somehow found you. Thank you for choosing me. With tears in her eyes, thank you for choosing me. And they share a kiss. John is standing there with tears in his eyes. John, I know things look dark, but you're the light. You're the hope. You're going to change the universe. I know it. No pressure. Just keep helping. You'll make mistakes. You'll fail sometimes. I will always, always be proud of you. I've seen so much of the universe. You're the best thing in it, son. They hug each other. After those final words to his family, Superman flies up to space. But when he finally gets up there, his eyes go wide. Superman took too long and the virus has started to affect him. He looks back at Earth and releases a huge heat vision attack. The symbol of hope is now taken over by death. All hope is now lost. I'ma end it right here. The most powerful man on the planet is now infected. It's not looking too good. But on that note, I'ma see y'all boys and girls next time. Ah!